Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're meeting the Doberman. Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're meeting the Chinese Red Dog. The Doberman Pinscher, the king of the guard dogs, elegant, waspish and sharp. But he has a contender to his title, the incredibly rare to the Western world Chinese Red Dog, otherwise known as the Lai Zhao Hong. Last year I filmed both. I watched their man training, experienced what it would be like to have one as a protection dog. I watched them interact with their families and how they viewed strangers when approached. So today, will you agree with Animal Watch on which dog is the better dog? Which one is the most obedient, most effective guardian, most healthy and best around your family? Don't go away. The Doberman Pinscher, revered as one of the world's most elite guard dogs and family guardians. Sleek, beautiful and fierce. But there's a new kid on the block, the Chinese Red Dog, and he too, well, could be described as sleek, beautiful and fierce. But what are the differences? And is there a clear winner when it comes to which one is the best? Let the game commence. <coughs> Round one. History, which one has the most solid genes? The Doberman Pinscher was developed by a German named Louis Doberman in the late 1800s. He was a tax collector and wanted a fierce guard dog to accompany him on his rounds. No one knows for certain, but the Doberman is thought to have originally been developed by crossing Rottweilers, German Pinscher's, Great Danes, the German Shepherd Dog, the Manchester Terrier and English Greyhound. Yet others think the Buceron, German Pinscher, Rottweiler and Weimariner are all that he has in his genes. So although he's considered to be a thoroughbred stallion now, like many other modern day breeds, was once originally a mix of many. The Chinese Red Dog was developed in the late 19th century in the Shandong province as well as other parts of China by colonizing German soldiers. The Germans use working dogs such as the German Shepherd, the Rottweiler, Great Dane and the local dogs, the Shandong Zion Hounds, to create this breed. After years of breeding these dogs together, the Lai Zhao Hong was established as its own breed. Many people believe the Lai Zhao Hong has Doberman in it, but this cannot be true unless recently added, as the Doberman was being created at the exact same time this breed was. So, another thoroughbred dog originating from mixing a very similar type of working guard dogs around a very similar time frame in history. So who wins? Who can be the more solidly bred breed? This will need to come down to looks and breed standard. The Chinese Red Dog still can look a variety of ways. Some look more stocky like the Rottweiler and others lanky like the Great Dane. They are also not recognised yet by the UK Kennel Club. The Doberman has been bred carefully to look one way for the European standard and another for the American standard, but always conforms and has been recognised for some time now. So for this round, the Doberman wins with 5 out of 5 for solid history and the Red Dog gets 3 out of 5 for his almost solid history. <coughs> round 2. Trainability. Now, I have met both breeds and witnessed the obedience and protection training they are capable of. The Red Dog is so new and rare to the UK that you can only go on what the few examples here are capable of. Being a mix of very trainable breeds, you would expect them to be right on point, the same as the Doberman. But let me throw one hand grenade into the room, the Great Dane. 
Notorious for his stubborn nature, the ones I filmed with a few years ago were extremely hard to train. And Jilly, the Great Dane owner, literally had to throw a ball over and over again to make one dog move a couple of feet for a photo. The Great Dane was added to the Red Dog in order to increase size and bone. But this may have added a little bit of stubbornness to the mix. The dogs that I met were very obedient and responsive, but very occasionally the wily nature of the Great Dane rose his head, not in a bad way, just sometimes a pause and a thought before an action. The Doberman I witnessed in training for both obedience and protection work, where they are entrusted to families with small children so they cannot mess up, not even once. The ones I met were of the European type, so larger and less nervous than the American line, and their character was solid and extremely trainable. There are barely any horror stories of Doberman going rogue, so for this reason the Doberman wins this round with 5 out of 5, and the Red Dog gets 4 out of 5, simply because the Great Dane will occasionally make him a little more stubborn but still is an incredibly responsive dog to have and can be trained to do some amazing tasks and protection work. Round three, character. So both these dogs have fearsome reputations as guard dogs and protection dogs. So are they safe and would you consider them balanced? Well, there is a reason to why many people are now choosing to import the European Doberman to the USA now as recent breeding over the last 30 years has made the USA Doberman sometimes skittish and nervous. Many people complain that this line lacks bone and their nerves have created nippy individuals. However, the European Doberman remains thick-boned and ever true to his character, which is watchful, obedient, responsive and confident. Of course, there are always going to be exceptions to the rule due to bad upbringing, poor socialization, and the backstreet puppy farm breeders breeding from any dog that will make them a buck. The red dog, in my opinion, was brave, curious, bombastic, and responsive when I met him. One thing though, he couldn't keep still and needed to settle on his own. He listened to his owners and did what they asked with the odd exception when playtime clouded his judgment. As mentioned before, this will be the Great Dane rearing his head again. But Great Danes are super loving dogs, so a small smudge of stubbornness is okay, as long as the dogs are trained very well early on. I feel that the Red Dog has so much promise, so I will award him 4 out of 5 for character, as he is safe with kids, as long as raised correctly and not abused. He is bright and eager to please. The European Doberman would get 5 out of 5, but if it was the American Doberman, then he would score 3 out of 5 for character, due to his skittish and nervy nature. So I have decided to make this round a draw, an even 4 out of 5 per dog, as the US Doberman sadly needs work to bring him back to the strong European Doberman of old in confidence. Round 4. Health. The average lifespan of a Doberman pincer is 10 to 13 years. The most common diseases that Doberman experience are as follows. Hip dysplasia, where the hips can click out of the socket. Cardiomyopathy, which is an enlarged heart. Demodicosis, which is mange. Gastric torsion, which is a twisted gut that results in bloat. Osteosarcoma, which is bone cancer. Von Willebrand's disease, which is the inability for blood to clot. Wobbler syndrome, where the spine is constricted at the neck, causing a wobbly gait. Now, as the Chinese Red Dog is such a new breed to the Western world, it is almost impossible to find any information online, apart from that they can live to 15 years, which is amazing considering that the German Shepherd, Rottweiler and Great Dane have a lower life expectancy. So I'm a little dubious about believing this fact. For this section, I will take a look at the breeds which have made up the Lysau Hong and see what diseases generally affect them. And it's a good chance the Red Dog will have inherited a few of these problems. 
The Rottweiler, like the Doberman, can suffer from hip dysplasia, heart problems, spine diseases, eye disease, bone cancer and hot spots. His deep chest also means a tendency for bloat. The German Shepherd can suffer from degenerative myelopathy, which is a paralysis of the spine and rear legs, hip dysplasia, dwarfism, epilepsy, blood not being able to clot and eye problems. The Great Dane can suffer from severe bloat, heart enlargement, bone cancers, wobbler syndrome and myelopathy. As the evidence for health conditions is not there for the Chinese Red Dog, I'm going to call it a draw in this round, as it would be unfair to rate down this breed simply because I can't find the facts online. My opinion is that both breeds have a tendency for bloat, heart enlargement and cancers, and I bet that they suffer from very similar conditions and life expectancy. So I will give them both three out of five for health. Not all the healthy looking guard dogs are as healthy as they look. And with their deep chest and large bones come a whole lot of issues. Round five, ferocity and power. This round again can only be judged on what I have witnessed. The Doberman I filmed were selected from very specific protection dog breeding kennels in Europe. So were bred from top working guard dog lines. They were easily trained, eager, enthusiastic and powerful. The red dogs I filmed were from a handful of new imports to the UK. So despite them being from very good genetic backgrounds and had been health tested, there was no guarantee that they would be as ferocious and driven as year upon year of intensively bred Doberman. The dogs I met were certainly strong and eager to please their owners, but also were so very nice that needed a little encouragement to do the bite work. This isn't a bad thing as it makes them just a very lovely dog, both protective but also kind of chilled out too. So for this reason, I will award Ferocity to the Doberman 5 out of 5 and the Red Dog 4 out of 5. The Red Dog has an incredibly bright future but needs some history building and solid breeding in the UK and USA to be considered on par with top Doberman kennels. I can't wait to see what he achieves. So let us top up our score and see who the winner is. The Doberman scores an incredible 22 out of 25 and the Lai Zhao Hong scores a promising 18 out of 25. Both similar dogs, just one has more of a Western history to his benefit and breeding genes which can be accessed easily for various show and kennel club pedigrees. I'm a huge fan and supporter of the Lai Zhao Hong and I know that breeders are currently working hard on getting him recognized over here, as well as health testing and breeding from only the best of character. Like all breeds, it will take time, but the basis is there to be one of the most statuesque, strong and beautiful character dogs out there. So good luck to our Chinese red dog. But of course, a big congratulations to our Doberman Pinzer. You are indeed a king. Your statuesque beauty and presence will always be noticed as one of the most striking and effective guard dogs of all time. And if you enjoyed this episode of Animal Watch, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe by hitting the button in the bottom hand corner. And tune in every week where we will be bringing you some more amazing episodes on dogs, wolves, wildlife and conservation. Bye for now.